guys so a year ago I made a video on the importance of image presentation in achieving your success and leading the life that you want so I answered the question why is it important to always look your best now that this question is answered I want to show you how to always look beautiful how to always look your best and there are certain steps that you need to take step number one is to always be hygienic that means washing your hair washing your body taking care of your nails your teeth and your skin the second thing is to always try to have a good hair day even if your hair is just acting up there are some tricks that you can do to still make it look presentable and the third step which we'll be concentrating on in this series is outfits so i will be giving you my best tips on how to choose the outfit which means choosing how to get inspired and what to buy and how to wear these clothes that you already bought and it all starts with creating a capsule wardrobe so what is a capsule wardrobe you ask a capsule wardrobe consists of all the essential items that never go out of style they can be upgraded to help you create your own personal style you can also mix and match these items to create many combinations of outfits that always look good on you so if you suffer from the syndrome of I don't know what to wear and my closet is full of clothes that don't look good on me you can actually start by creating this capsule wardrobe and then expanding it to create your own personal style so with this you will have more freedom and more control so first we will start by determining your capsule wardrobe according to color and I have a simple formula that will help you choose the right colors and mix and match these colors so they can always look good together because there is no need to buy a lot of colors that are either trendy or you think you should buy them and even if you find a beautiful color at a store but you have nothing to match it with then it is a problem so the first step is to determine what of the neutral colors look good on you and there are a lot of neutrals out there some of them are the essentials that we all know like black gray and white but there are also khaki navy cream and a certain shade of red that is considered also a neutral and there are also a lot of other neutral colors out there so you only need to choose one or two neutral colors and one or two accent colors that go well with the neutrals that you chose the second step is to determine your metallic neutrals are you a gold person are you a silver person are you a rose gold are you a bronze person as you will see with the normal colors there are also a lot of metallic colors out there so you choose step one and two according to what you like and according to your skin complexion and I will be talking more about this in my next videos step number three is to determine what patterns look good on you and there are a lot of patterns out there so for your capsule wardrobe the patterns that you choose are what looks good on you and what doesn't go out of style step number four is to follow simple rules when mixing and matching know what colors and what patterns look good together and what colors and patterns just simply don't work for example there are the rules that navy blue and black don't work together as well as white and cream and there are a lot of people that don't agree with that but as you are a beginner in creating your personal style these simple rules will make your life easier so I will be expanding a lot on that in my following videos and I will be talking a lot about warm colors and cool colors next you have to think about your lifestyle to determine your lifestyle there are some questions that you have to answer they are simple questions but their answers are very important in creating your personal style and your outfit combinations so the first question is what is your job the second question is what are your hobbies where do you like to eat do you like to eat at home do you like to eat in fast food restaurants do you like to eat in fancy restaurants and how is the weather where you're at so answer these questions according to your circumstances right now and not according to what you wish 
you're having or what are your plans unless you know that you would be traveling soon and your whole life is going to change so you can act accordingly but if this is not the case then answer the questions based on where you're at right now in your life thirdly go out and get inspired there are a lot of apps and websites that help you with that my favorites are polyvor because you can create outfit combinations and pinterest because you can create boards of your inspiration it's like you're pinning on a board it's like creating a mood board or inspiration board but you have it on your computer and you can create a lot of boards without being cluttered now there is a way to actually do that so i will be uploading videos on how to use these apps the right way in order to get inspired without feeling overwhelmed so after that take a look at your own closet because many of the items that actually inspire you are items that you have in your closet and as of now there is no need to go out and buy new items of what you already have step number five is to take out all the pieces that you own put them on the bed or in a place where you can see them and try to organize them so take a look of what you like what you absolutely like what you're not sure about and what you don't like at all and then you can think of ways to upcycle what you don't like or actually donate them or getting rid of them and the last step that you need to take before going out and buying new outfits is to try to go through the whole process with a friend this way, when you are looking at your closet, you can actually exchange pieces. There are things that you might not want, but they want, and vice versa. And the more friends you do this with, the more outfits you will have without actually going and buying new things. But before you do all that, I will be posting more videos giving you details on each step that you need to take. So this video is an introduction to a lot of series that are coming your way. If you like the idea, give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe for more upcoming videos. And may you have a clutter-free life.